Hello, this is Tim Fowers. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Now Boarding. Now Boarding is a real-time cooperative game for two to four players where together you're running an airline. This airline has a ton of passengers come through it every day. Every player is one plane in this fleet. Each plane is represented by this card. It has three speed, which are the turbines, and one seat, representing how many people it can carry. And you move your plane across the map, picking up and dropping off passengers between airports. Uh, your speed is how many pips on the board you can move. When you're at an airport, you can swap passengers with that airport and your plane. So here's a passenger that starts in Atlanta and wants to go to Miami. So this player could stop here, pick up the MIA passenger, put it next to her plane, and use her movement to go to Miami, and then drop off the passenger. Now, in this case, because the passenger got delivered to his destination, he turns into money. Every passenger has an amount of money that you'll earn by delivering him. The way the round works is that everyone plans together where the passengers need to go. There will be a whole bunch of passengers showing where they are, some will be face up, showing where they want to go, and so on. And you make a plan. The wrinkle to the whole thing is that once you have a plan, you flip a 30 second timer, and now you have 30 seconds for all players to take all of their actions at the same time. And yes, this causes a lot of craziness, um, and you're flipping over any face down passengers once the timer starts. So now you have a little bit of new information you have to process at the same time. But, this is also an opportunity. It gives you unique opportunities to take your turn in any order. Say, there's a passenger that somebody can, f can finish this turn if you can get to them. So, this Chicago, pa th this Chicago plane maybe has a passenger for LAX and can say, hey Denver, you know, per player in Denver, wait there. I'm going to use my actions first to get to you. I'm going to drop this passenger in uh, Denver. You'll pick him up immediately and then you can go the rest of the way and deliver in this turn. Uh, that's where the, the, the really slick uh, connections you can make in the game uh, start to happen. If you survive this 30 seconds, <laughs> at the end of the round, any passengers that are still in airports get an anger cube. If any passengers get four anger cubes, they freak out and complain and leave. If three customers leave, you lose the game. Also between rounds, players have the opportunity to buy upgrades. Upgrades are going to increase the speed and the seats that you have access to. So it, there's a chart over here that shows you how much seat, additional seats and speed cost. Um, you basically trade in your customers equal to that value. You turn in those cards uh, to supply and you get a, either a speed or a seat. In the prototype, you actually just slide the card under here to represent an additional speed. Or, or slide it this way to represent an additional seat. You'll notice the symbols on the map here. All players have access to the black pips. Everyone can go on those. And then on your card, you'll have special symbols uh, that represent paths that only you can go on. They're your shortcuts. And that's really where a lot of the cooperation comes in. You want to use your shortcuts as much as possible to get passengers there faster. And you need to coordinate. This will often mean you'll stay in kind of your region of the map, handing off to other players in certain cities. Now you can also purchase additional routes. So if you're needing access to maybe a color you don't have, you can spend money to get that. You know, you take the upgrade and slide it under your, you know, plane. Now there are two uh, temporary upgrades. These upgrades are, are basically one-shots, a temporary seat and a temporary speed. These are often good if you have a little bit extra money left over because you don't get change when you buy something. So if you get an extra dollar, you can buy a temporary speed. And the way these work is you buy them between rounds, but then during the round you can turn them in back to supply to gain additional speed. Or if you need to load an extra passenger over your capacity, you can use the extra seat. Now there's only one of each of these. So if you're going to buy it, you want to make sure you get it back to the supply quickly so other people have access to purchase it. At the beginning of the round, you are going to spawn new passengers according to the city on the back of the card. 
so you know where these passengers are coming in, but until you start the timer, you're not going to know exactly where they want to go. Between um, every phase of the game, you change weather. Now, what weather does is changes the pips on a route. So you shuffle the weather cards, you reveal one, and this is Atlanta to JFK, and you randomize what you, uh, the good and the bad um, weather. Good weather, you put over a pip and it removes a pip. Now this route is shorter. And if you introduce a storm, so we have Seattle to SFO over here, and we introduce a storm, now there's an extra pip on that route. And this changes and it'll make certain shortcuts that you want to take advantage of, and sometimes you're going to want to try to fly around the weather because it's gets slower to go through it. And that's pretty much it. The goal of the game is to survive all of the passengers. 72 passengers in a four-player game. And the fewer in, in two and three-player games. But you have to get everyone where they want to go. At the end of the game, any passengers left over count as half of a complaint. So you, you really have to complete all these routes um, by the end of the game.